month, we bring on Crime Stoppers to tell us who we should be looking for in this morning. Deputy Chris Paul is here to tell us how we can actually earn some cash with just a simple phone call. That's right. Good, Good morning, morning, Deputy Paul. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being with us. Thank so, you. who are we looking for today? As always, looking for three people. The first person we're looking for is Chase Curry. He's a black male. He's 23 years old, and he's wanted by the State Board of Pardon and Parole for parole violation. The second person we're looking for is Mark James Smith. He's a white male. He's 57 years old. He's wanted by the House County Sheriff's Office for a solicitation of sodomy. And the third person that we're looking for is Cortez Maxwell. He's a black male. He's 21. And he's wanted by the Bibb County Sheriff's Office for a violation of probation. So these are some, some criminals, some suspects that are obviously being pursued by several different kinds of law enforcement. Talk about how Crime Stoppers plays a role in that. Sure, I mean, Crime Stoppers plays a huge role in there. Um, like I said, uh, police can't be everywhere at all the time, so the citizens are the eyes and ears of, of the community. So we rely heavily on the citizens to call in to us so, so we can then help law enforcement capture these guys. And Crime Stoppers covers a wide area across the Right, there's eight Georgia. different counties that, that we cover correctly. Oh, seven continuous counties and Baldwin counties as far as that we go out. And talk about just, you know, if, if someone sees one of these people right. or maybe has a tip in a, in a different kind of crime, sure. what, what do they need to do? Sure, we tell them don't, don't approach anybody. We want you to get all the information that you can. Don't approach them if you not, not, not approach them at all. So we tell you to give us, give us a call at one eight seven seven six eight crime Give us all the information, where they are, what color clothing they were, if they're in a car, they got a tag number, direction of travel. That information that we can get out so we can give it to the officers or the deputies so they can go ahead and try to pursue them. And if you leave a tip, you can actually get some money from Ab it, right? Absolutely. Each crime, there's a dollar value to it. So the more crimes they commit, the more crimes they get arrested on, then the tip um, reward goes up. So all the better to keep your eyes and ears open in Absolutely. the community. Make they, some they, money. Yeah, make some money for the summer, <laughs> for these summer vacations coming up. And Crime Stoppers has really been valuable and very uh, important in the community regarding Absolutely. closing some of these cases and solving some of these cases. Absolutely. With some of the recent ones that's going on, we have gotten tips through Crime Stoppers on the um, the um, court on the um, uh, House and County, well, not House and County, and also the one that happened recently over off Granada Terrace. We got um, good tips on those and also the double homicide. Some tips that came through Crime Stoppers as well. So it's very important for the community to be active and, and, and Absolutely. give a call if you know something. No matter how small you think the tip is, call us and let us know because you never know what your tip may do. It may be the tip that, that, that solves the case. Well, thank you so much, Deputy Paul, for, for joining us me. this morning. And again, that number is one eight seven seven sixty eight crime You can always remain anonymous and are eligible to receive an award. All right, Marco.